Final motions were heard today before the trial of Cheshire home invasion suspect Joshua Komisarjewski starts on Monday. His attorneys wanted to limit the testimony of the sole survivor, Dr. William Pettit, and get that trial moved out of New Haven. News H Jamie Muro on the scene with the latest. The Komisarjewski defense team was busy Friday morning defending a number of motions that they had filed to use as a strategy in their defense of their client. Motions that, for the most part, were denied by Judge Blue. Before the dramatic testimony, the raw emotion, the disturbing evidence, defense attorneys for Joshua Komisarjewski had one last series of motions they presented before Judge John Blue. One of them was restricting the testimony of the lone survivor of the home invasion, Dr. William Pettit. In short, his testimony should be about the facts of the case, not memories of his life before the tragedy. John Walkley is a criminal defense attorney that has worked on death penalty cases. The jury is going to be instructed. This isn't about sympathy. This isn't about emotion. It's about kind of a cold-blooded cold decision about did the, the state prove its case. So I think, it's, I think it is important to restrict the doctor in his testimony. Also brought before Judge Blue today was another request for change of venue because of pretrial publicity. Pictures not released before trial became matter of public record during the Hayes proceeding. But Judge Blue says he has faith that the jury will be fair. This challenge here is before the Hayes trial, there wasn't any evidence out there. The jury was exposed to information, but now there has been a trial, and everyone in the pool of the Commissar Jewski jury has been exposed to the evidence that was presented in that case. And it, it, I think it's going to be harder and harder for this jury to put that out of their mind uh, and only pay attention to what you're hearing here. In light of the publicity, the defense also wanted newspaper boxes in front of the courthouses removed so jurors couldn't see headlines as they walked inside. Blue says he has authority over what goes on in his courtroom, not on a public sidewalk. Again, the court must have confidence that jurors will do as instructed and stay away from media coverage. They have to protect the jury from exposure to things that they might see or hear that is not evidence that they're hearing in the courtroom. So now, officially, the pre-trial work is done. The trial starts Monday morning, 10 a.m. On the seat of New Haven, Jamie Muro, News 8.